and we're back back to do the wax so I can't find my spatula it ran away I was looking all around I was like what am I gonna do I had to heat mine up uh, about four times in increments of 15 seconds anyway I had a um what is it called when you dig it out of your ear cotton swab there we go I had a cotton swab which you should have you know especially if you want to get those ears clean so I had some cotton swabs that's what they're called and that's what I'm going to use to wax apply the wax to my face so I want to create a thin layer over the hair slide it usually you should test the wax on your wrist first but I'm an adventurous person you know but test the wax on your wrist <laughs> and then apply it a thin layer You don't want to burn yourself. You see my cotton became a little mop. It's almost to my advantage. It's helping. Well, by golly, I think cotton swabs are the way to go, people. We're going to use cotton swabs to apply wax when at home. Disposable yet effective. Now areas where you have a lot of hair, see that? You wanna really pack it on there. You got a lot of different roots you're trying to attract. And get any areas that you didn't get, you know, thoroughly, little thin parts. So you can make it a unified structure of wax. You want to develop a wax strip. This is hard wax, which is my favorite. No strips necessary. Just put the wax on, take the wax off, and fill it up. And I'm just gonna go all the way around so we don't have to keep reheating. Let's just wax everything, you know, to get to the eyebrows. You always want to go below the eyebrows and above the eyebrows first because there should be some obvious areas that you know you don't want in those two spots. So you can go ahead and handle that off the bat. You might even have an inner area that's obvious like, okay, yeah, I want that gone. So just hit the obvious spots first, even when you think there is no um, hair in a particular area on the top or the bottom. There may be. You may have a uh-oh like I just did, but just keep it going. Wax dries up really quick. It's like when you, it's like you get to play with candles. <laughs> oh, what we women do for beauty. Okay.
this is actually kind of fun. It's like arts and crafts. Anyway, um, as you can see, I look very hilarious right now. And so should you. I'm just going to go a little bit more on the inner part of this eye. You gotta be swift. See, you didn't see any hair there, but I covered it just in case. Okay. Now something like this you wouldn't share with your friends, okay? You're dipping. This is a one person dipping situation right here. Wax is easy to clean up. You just peel it off like such. Nothing to be worried about. It's one be wonderful if all spills dried up like wax. You just uh, pick it up and clean my hands off now. All right, so if you're like all scared about pain, just like get over it right now because it's not gonna be that serious. It's gonna be really quick and you can hold yourself down, you know, um, you can press on your skin and it'll hurt less if you do that right after the fact. Or, um, they also, usually these um, waxes include some sort of sensitivity cream, which I'm not sure that this one does, but most do. Or you can purchase it separately if it's that serious, which it's not. So, are you ready? Let's wax. Alright, let's do the area that it happened first because it probably has a firm hold and is dry now, ready to be ripped away. And you want to rip it away opposite of the direction that the hair grows. So, we want to go top to bottom. Look, see, it's obvious. We made a little mustache. We made the eyebrows. Are you ready? Let's start on this side. You start from the bottom. You pick it up. So you know you got a head start. You might even start to feel the hair. Then you want to hold down the skin. Right? And then get a firm grip. Get ready to rip. One, two, three, go. A little intense, I know. And then you just put the strips down. And ready. I love seeing the hair afterwards. It's always so victorious. It's like, oh, you're gone. Not all the hair is always going to come up. I was scared. Oh my gosh, you should have seen me. But I got so much hair. Look at that. Ugh, awesome. The thing about waxing is the more you do it, the less it hurts, the easier it comes out. So, oh, I even got a little there. Um... So, the more and more it's efficient, the more you do it. Just like coming to me as your stylist, the more you come to me, the more you'll get what you want out of your beauty services. Waxing is just like that. Waxing is also available 
at Natural Vanity. Ten dollars for a hair free face. Okay, right now we're moving up to the eyebrows. Are you with me? Eyebrows. So let's grab it at the edge. Remember, you want to roll it up. Can you see that? I'm rolling it to find a little, it's like a ripoff. Okay, ready? And rip. Uh, not much. Okay. It did come up by itself. Oh, it got some. Ready? And let's rip again. Take all your might, direct your energy down on the diagonal. Follow the line. Okay. And another. Huh. Interesting. And these two little pieces here, leave those alone. Now come up to the top. You always want to find what's banded together. Start peeling it up. You see that? And get ready. Rip. Good. Rip again if you need to. Ooh. You got quite a bit there. Wow, all in one hit. Now that's what you want to see. A strip like that. That means you did a good job. And rip away from where your hand is. Sometimes moving your eyebrows up and down can help as well. You gotta use different techniques, whatever makes you comfortable at a time. Taking my waxing, sometimes you may wanna do an outline to say this is where I wanna go and then you'll make sure you stay within your perimeter. You can freestyle it like I just did. Or, you know, also just think about what you want it to look like. Anyway, Make sure you remove the remaining debris from your face. You can tone it. If the wax gets too hard, oil helps as well. As you can see, I've made quite a mess. So, join me. When I return, to teach you more and more. But that's the basics of waxing your eyebrows. In my next video, you can see what my eyebrows turned out like. I'm gonna do a styling of the eyebrows. Yes, the eyebrows can be styled. They are hair that you keep on your face and Therefore, it can be glamorous as well. So, please follow me, Natural NaturalVanity.com. Email me, NaturalVanity11 at gmail.com. But really, I'd love for you to call or text me at 
two, five. Happy waxing. Say hello to your face. Say hi face. Oh my gosh. You were under that shade for so long. Look at you. You're beautiful. And clean your face. Don't forget to clean your face. This wax is ooey gooey. Until next time.